Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this algebraic equation in a radical form? We have square root of x multiplied by x multiplied by x divided by square root of x plus x plus x equals 1. We want to see the value of x that satisfy this problem. Here, if we multiply x, x together, we are going to have it as the square root of x to the power of 3 divided by and when we add this together we have 3x then everything equals 1 so if i say i divide this one by 1 as well by cross multiplying we multiply 1 by 1 and uh, this also by this then we have the square root of x to the power of 3 equals the square root of 3x and on getting to this stage what to we'll do here is we are going to take the square of both sides just to cancel this square root all right we have this as x to the power of 3 in square so we are going to raise it to the power of 2 equals the square root of 3x all raised to the power of 2. So this cancels this and this also cancels this. Therefore, we have x to the power of 3 equals 3x. So to have all the solutions that satisfy this, we are going to take this 3x to the left hand side and we have x to the power of 3 minus 3x equals 0. And when we have this, we factor out x since it is common to both of them. And factoring out x, we have this remains x to the power of 2 and here reduced to 3 equals 0. So to have the value of x, x, I mean the value of x that make all this equation equal 0, we let this one equal 0 or we let this one equals 0. So by letting the first one we have x equals 0 and secondly we have x to the power of 2 minus 3 equals 0. So here is the first value of x that we got and to have the value of other x here, since this is x squared and this is 3, we know we can manipulate this one to be, here is x to the power 2. We can have this as square root of 3 all raised to the power of 2 equals 0. Because square and square root, they cancel each other and we get our 3 back. So here is a difference of 2 square. For instance, let's say we have a square minus b square this gives us a plus b and it multiplies a minus b so we are going to relate this together and we have this as x minus uh let's say plus x plus root 3 and the other one is x minus root 3 equals 0. Again, we let x uh, plus root 3 equals 0 and x minus root 3 equals 0 to have the value of x. So we have x equals uh, minus root 3 and similarly when we do this as well, we are going to have it as x equals root 3. But we cannot just say all these solutions satisfy the given problem since it is a radical and uh, also a quotient form of radical. Let's try to combine all the solutions together. So you have the first one which is x equals 0. The second one is x equals minus root 3. And the third one is x equals root 3. But let's see the one that satisfy the given problem. 
from what we have we have to test for when x equals 0 so we have square root of x multiplied by x multiplied by x divided by the square root of x plus x plus x everything equals 1 so when we put this thing at x equals 0 and substitute it in this we are going to have 0 at the denominator and it is totally undivine that is, it is not equals to 1 therefore x equals 0 is rejected all right so let's try to substitute this as well when we have at x equals minus root 3 when we try to substitute it in this as well at x equals um minus root 3 um we put it in that um root we are going to have a negative just like this the square root of minus root 3 multiplied by uh let me bracket this again the second one comes with minus root 3 while the, the third one is also minus root 3 then divided by the square root of uh, minus root 3 plus minus root 3 plus minus root 3 so from the above we still going to get negative and it will be in form of this square root of minus uh we have it as three root three divided by while for this one as well we have it as the square root of so minus 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 will also come and that one is minus three root three as we know that this is in the negative it leads us to complex so this is not equals to one as well which means that the only solutions that satisfy this is when we have x equals 3 is the only solution that satisfies it whereby at x equals uh, 0 and at x equals minus root 3 the two of them did not satisfy this based on the conditions so let's how to solve this thanks for watching and if you find this video interesting please do well to subscribe and like the video see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye